Hello everybody on YouTube and Facebook, it's Michael here and on this video I'm going to be showing you how to replace your floppy disk drive with this USB drive emulator. Now this USB drive emulator works on most Yamaha keyboards and other brands of keyboards such as Korg etc. Um, but the keyboard I'll be putting this USB drive emulator in is the Yamaha PSR 8000 and what it does it replaces your floppy disk drive so you no longer have to put like floppy disks in the keyboard you can put things like USB sticks and other USB things like a USB hard drive etc and also just to let you all know that this is the very first YouTube video of mine that I am videoing this using my phone. This is what I usually film my YouTube videos on, the Zoom Q3 HD. But for the first time ever on my YouTube videos, I'll be using my phone to do this recording. Right, first of all, you're going to be needing some screwdrivers. And these are the screws that came with the um, USB drive emulator. And what you want to do first is tip the keyboard upside down. Sorry if I take too long, it's quite hard doing it with one hand as I'm using my other hand holding the phone. So as you can see, the keyboard is upside down. And you want to start taking out all the screws so that you can open up the keyboard. That's it, that's one screw. And you are going to want to be taking all the screws out of this keyboard. So I will be right back once I've unscrewed all the screws out of the keyboard. Okay, so now that I've got all the screws out of the keyboard and now the keyboard is open. I didn't show like, you know, how to open up the keyboard and that because it was quite hard doing it with one hand whilst I'm using this phone so I did that before I filmed this part um, what you want to do oh yes um, I've got a um, a hard disk in this keyboard so you just got to be really careful with that that's just like get that out the way and there is your floppy disk drive and what you're and what you're going to do is take these screws out here these ones here like so oh. Oh, that's one of them, <laughs> but that's fallen, but I know where it is. And you're going to be doing that with all the screws so that you can take the floppy disk drive out. Oh, and another thing, you're going to need to take this out. The connector of the floppy disk drive. So you just got to do that carefully. That's better, a bit blurry there. I'm just going to need to take that out. There we go. And that little thing here needs to come out. So that's the floppy disk drive disconnected. I'll be back once I've taken the screws out of this to completely take the floppy disk drive out. Okay, so now the floppy disk drive is taken out of the keyboard. And here it is the floppy disk drive and now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna take these things off here let's see if I can do it um, it's quite hard when I'm using one hand to hold the phone and one hand to do this there you 
we go, it's coming off. There you go, that's came off. And using the screws that came with the USB drive emulator, you would want to put these on the USB drive emulator. With these holes here, if you can see them. I'll be back once I put these onto the USB drive emulator. And I also forgot to mention, I should have mentioned this on the first part, is to get a glass or similar to put all the screws in so that the screws are safe, so that you don't lose them. So just a little heads up there before I forget. Okay, so now the um, brackets are off the floppy disk drive and are now on the USB drive emulator. You are now going to put the USB drive emulator where the floppy disk drive once was. Just like that. And um, all you just need to do is um, put the screws back in those holes there. Okay, so now the screws are back into place. And now the USB drive emulator is replacing the floppy disk drive. Now the last thing you need to do is just put the connections back into the newly added USB drive emulator. So there you are. The floppy disk drive has now been replaced with the USB drive emulator. Now the last thing you're going to do, the last thing you're going to do is put the keyboard back together again. But don't put all the screws back into the keyboard yet until you, until you know that the USB drive emulator works. I'll be right back once I put this keyboard back into place and power it on and see if the USB drive emulator is working. Okay, so now that the keyboard is put back together, it's not all screwed on though yet because you need to find out if the USB drive emulator works. So first of all, turn on the keyboard. And there is your newly added USB drive emulator. And instead of floppy disks, you can now put USB sticks on there. So put in the stick in, put the stick in like so. Then go to the utility disk. Go to load from disk. Then go to floppy disk. But for some reason it says no disk. Please insert a disk. Even though there's a USB stick in the USB drive emulator and the um, emulator is picking up the USB stick. So I'm not sure why it says no disk. Maybe it's probably because I might need to do something on here. And there's two buttons here on the USB drive emulator. So if anyone knows about that, please let me know. Okay, so that's the tutorial on how to replace your floppy disk drive with a USB drive emulator on the Yamaha PSR8000 keyboard. It will also work on other Yamaha keyboards and as well as other brands like Korg and Roland etc. So again, this is how you replace your floppy disk drive with a USB drive emulator. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now.